Why do people take this? No, our youngsters today take this because they've got problems. Some of them need the buzz. Some of them need that, you know, good feeling. Some of them do it because of peer pressure. Some of them want that, you know, inner satisfaction. At all times, you know, feeling good on a high. My friends, if you're looking for the inner satisfaction, if you're looking for this joy, and if you're looking for this peace, and you're looking for this contentment, then you're looking for it in the wrong place. How full of a... Do you think that person or that individual is? Who's looking for onions in a doctor's surgery? You know, you'd think this guy's totally out of it. Where's the doctor going to have onions? He needs to go to a grocery shop. We're looking for contentment and satisfaction in these things. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hasn't placed the contentment and the inner satisfaction in anything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made haram. You know the buzz that you should be looking for, every one of us. And this buzz, my friends, there's no charge. It doesn't cost a penny. You know, with this, you know, person has to steal to fulfill his desires. And for some, even, you know, even then he can't do. Some of them, Bichari, go as far as selling their souls and selling their bodies. So just that they can earn a few pounds just to, you know, give them that, that little, you know, that little peace. This, this buzz that Allah talks about in the Quran, my friends, it costs nothing. Nothing. And this buzz that Allah talks about, you know what? It doesn't last for a minute. It doesn't last for two minutes. You know, you don't have to uh, 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 increase your dose just to get the buzz or change, you know, the, the, the actual drug that you're taking. No. This buzz that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about in the Quran, my young friends, it doesn't last for two minutes. This buzz can last 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. But okay, my friends, it can last an entire lifetime and beyond no side effects whatsoever no side effects whatsoever at all times you will feel this inner satisfaction inside your heart and this was that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about Allah you will only find this not in dope you will only find this in the remembrance of Allah only in the remembrance of Allah, only in the teachings of Islam, only in the teachings of the Quran, only in the Sunnah of Rasulullah, my friends, do these hearts gain peace. The more you act upon the teachings, when I said, you know, it doesn't just last for two minutes, it can go on forever and ever, this depends on the individual. The more you act upon the teachings of the Quran, the more you act upon the sunnah of Rasulullah, the more you act upon the teachings of Islam, the more you make dhikr and remember Allah, my friends, the bigger and the greater the buzz. The more you refrain from haram, the greater the buzz. The more you give this heart its due nourishment, the better you will feel with within. My friends, slowly but surely, a time can come that you can feel just like the way Sayyidina Bilal Habshi radiallahu ta'ala anhu would feel. You know, he got to such a level that they would beat him by day and they would beat him by night. They would drug him, you know, when the sun would exceed 40 degrees centigrade, 50 degrees centigrade in the burning sun and they would force him to lie on the burning sun and they would punish him. But in spite of this, my friends, he would say, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. Why? Because, you know, his heart, even then was content. Even then he was feeling good. And the halawatul iman which he was tasting at the time, you know the sweetness of iman inside his heart, no matter how much they beat him, you know when a guy is out of it, totally buzzed, you can slap him as much as you like, he doesn't feel the pain, does he? He's out of it, he's in a, in a different world. And here, when they would beat Sayyidina Bilal Habshi radiallahu ta'ala an, you know what? The halawatul iman, the sweetness of iman would make him forget the bitterment of the punishment that he was receiving. Why else do you think Abadi bin Mishan, you know, I mentioned yesterday, standing before the Almighty Allah in prayer, arrows are piercing his body one after the other. How can you not feel pain when arrows are piercing your body one after the other? You know, the arrows are hitting, he takes the out, throws it away, and he keeps on reciting Surah Al Kaf. Keeps on reciting Surah Al Kaf. You know, the sweetness and the inner satisfaction and the buzz that he was getting by reciting Surah Al Kaf, my friends, made him forget the bitterness of the arrows that were, you know, being drilled inside his body. Why else would the likes of Usman stand the entire night in prayer and read the, you know, the entire Quran in one rakat? Why else did Ibrahim ibn Adham, you know, leave the luxuries of the world and turn to Allah? You know why? My friends, they got to this level. 
they were feeling this and when a person feels this my friends this world and everything is meaningless you don't have to believe what I've said just give it a try give it a try my friends you will realize the difference